ready to go? Yep. All right, everybody. I am Jamie Zellum, the sales director here from Lake Mason, and uh, thank you all for coming out. I appreciate your time. So let's get started here. So it's October in 2012. Mr. and Mrs. Smith come into your office, right? You pitch them on global bonds. It's the next best thing. It's going to diversify away their fixed income from the scary landscape in the U.S. And it works. Everything's going well. Returns are good. Everyone's happy. And then Mr. Bernanke comes out, makes a little comment about Fed tapering, potentially. What does everyone do? They freak out. They sell fixed income. It drops like a rock. Correlations go to one. Diversification didn't work. Clients are calling you. What's going on? My portfolio's down. We've seen this before. Diversification may not always work in market panics, but it does work over longer periods of time. And that's what we really have to think about. I know it's hard to shake off the returns of the last six months or so, but now's the time as advisors to really think, what's the best interest of my client right now for the long term? And we at Leg Mason think global bond story is still intact. Now let me ask you, Scanlon, for the last 25 years, how many times has the U.S. been the top performing fixed income market in the U.S.? I don't know. Only three times. Three out of 25. That's not very many. So I'm here today to talk about global bonds. I'm going to switch it up a little. Global bonds with a twist. Global bonds with some flexibility. I'm talking about the Brandywine Absolute Return Opportunities Fund. It's run by Steve Smith, David Hoffman, Jack McIntyre. They're a team that's been working together for over 15 years on global fixed income. They were also the recipient in 2012 of Institutional Investor Magazine's Global Fixed Income Award. So that's great. It's a good award. But why is this fund relevant to right now? And there's three keys. First, duration. We can go up to positive five years in duration, but more importantly for right now in this environment, we can go down to negative five years. Everyone worried about interest rate risk? That's a huge benefit. Two, we can go long and short. Why is that important, you ask? Because the spreads have been narrowing consistently over the last couple of years. And as they get tighter and tighter, it's harder and harder to get outsized returns and long-only fixed income investments, right? So having that ability to short really just adds that little bit of extra value, another tool to generate alpha. And third, we have a currency position can hedge back our currency, we go into a market and think the currency might be overvalued, but we also can take outright long or short positions in a currency, like we did earlier this year with the Japanese yen. So to close out, I want you guys to think about this fund. It's kind of an alpha generator for your fixed income in a way, maybe a satellite to your core strategies. I'm going to show you a couple of returns here. Since the fund incepted in February 2011, through October of this year, our fund returned annualized a little over 5%. If you invested in the Global Bond Index, you got about 4.28%. And if you're just in the U.S., in the Barclays Ag, only 37 So what does that show us? One, it shows us diversification does work over a longer period of time. Two, Global Bond Story still does work compared to just being in the U.S. And three, my little favorite part here. We happen to be on the top of this list. <laughs> so thank you all for coming out. If you have any questions, let me know.